lawnmower. It is a beautiful sound to John Lawson. He's hoped for decades to mow his own yard. I've had over 35 major operations. In 1981, he was working on scaffolding two stories up. It collapsed. So the only way to go was down. What followed? Years of sitting in his chair, his pain meds close by. Your life becomes locked in this house. About six months ago, he made a decision to stop the isolation caused by pain and the narcotics he was taking. He was up to 30 or 40 pills a day. If it wasn't really for the pain at that time, it was uh, maintaining the sickness that my body would go through from withdrawal. John tried to get off opioids, but became deathly ill. Consider the flu. Multiply that times you know, 20, 25. It's the worst thing you'd ever want to go through. Specialists say 90% of those addicted failed trying to get off of opioids on their own. John found the pain management program at Nebraska Medicine. Many patients start the medication because it's effective and then they can't quit the medication because they feel so horrible when they try. Dr. Kimberly Haynes Henson is now John's pain specialist at Nebraska Medicine. She trained and became licensed to offer this. It's a highly effective step-down drug to help taper off of opioids without harsh side effects. It can be used as a taper or it can be used as a replacement. So the medication is called buprenorphine. It's like night and day. I, when I walked in here, I walked in here with the cane. Uh, I remember that. Rest, yeah. <laughs> He's been doing phenomenally well. He feels that his pain levels have dropped. He feels more mentally alert and he feels like he just has a whole new lease on life. It's been very exciting to see. Well, these days, the cane is parked for good, and John's dog, Winnie, takes his place in the chair. On his new med, buprenorphine, John attended the one-month outpatient pain management program at Nebraska Medicine. I was not sick at all, no sickness at all. He learned self-care, natural pain relief, and how to find balance. It just made him happier every day. My daughter was getting married in, uh, in February. And I knew that uh, I wanted to walk my daughter down the aisle and uh, on narcotics, I didn't know if that was would happen. He was there and present. And John's wife of 40 years says life is good. If you have that hope and then you have the drive, it's amazing what you can do. And John's lawn, it's the best looking yard on the block. I'm an outdoor person, I love being outdoors.